Emily is a young artist who is creatively raising awareness about issues concerning people with disabilities through her art forum. Inspired by Emily's teacher at the Rhode Island School for the Deaf, who photographed her hand fingerspelling love in American Sign Language letters, one idea led to another, and another, and her Etsy shop was born. Love Letters by Emily is her online store that she runs with her mom, Carolyn. They offer a unique selection of digital art, photography prints, note cards, and accessories, featuring ASL sign language letters and heart hands images. Emily is always happy to create custom artwork with your own words, names, and special messages. In nominating Emily, Diane Kreiner raved about her art, her ability and the beautiful custom items she and Emily create to express a mother's love without ever speaking a word. In addition to the Etsy shop, Emily goes out to local artisan shows. Emily's works offer an amazing selection of handmade items and making a positive difference with her creativity. As a student using a wheelchair due to cerebral palsy, Stephen faced many barriers and was often unable to participate in the same activities as his peers. After high school, during a meeting about his future education plan with his vocational coaches and family, Stephen expressed a desire to do something where he could make a difference. As a result, Stephen was asked by the Johnson School Superintendent to perform accessibility assessments of all the schools in Johnston and present his findings to the school committee. When accessibility improvements at several Johnson schools were completed, the experience inspired him to start a project called Equal Access Rhode Island to provide education, advocacy, and consultancy about the accessibility of Rhode Island buildings and facilities. Stephen's website contains a wealth of information and resources, as well as a blog where he describes his adventures, shares his research, and invites his readers to build a more accessible Rhode Island. In nominating Stephen for this award, Kelly Chalbois, the Director of Tech Access, said Stephen's goal at Equal Access Rhode Island is to make public spaces and places in Rhode Island accessible to everyone, regardless of their abilities. Stephen was also nominated by Nate Carroll of RHD, a day program in Pawtucket where Stephen participates. Nate told us, I've been working in the human services field for over 20 years, and I can't think of anyone who has demonstrated more leadership or worked harder to improve the lives of people with disabilities than Stephen Carroll. He has a proven track record as an agent of change. He's an inspiration. Stephen shows us that it's possible to make meaningful changes rather than be defined by his disability. Carroll has chosen to share his experiences in the hopes of creating a world with fewer barriers and greater opportunities. Rebecca Noon met Tracy Allard in 2014 when she taught theater classes at the Autism Project through the VSA Playwrights Discovery Program. For several months, this group of high school students created an original piece of theater about the history of autism. Tracy consistently rose to the top, a champion to her fellow students, said Rebecca. She's a dedicated, fearless artist and a mindful researcher. Six months later, when Kurt Columbus, artistic director of Trinity Rep, was looking for a teenage girl to portray Sweetheart, a character with autism, in his production of Will Eno's Middletown, Tracy auditioned and won the role. Not only did Tracy prove to have the acting chops, but in the rehearsal process, she inspired her fellow actors to understand just how she sees the world as someone with autism. In addition to her part in the show, Tracy participated in post-show discussions with the audience. She shared her experiences as a person with autism, saying, a lot of kids don't understand autism. I'm not ashamed to be autistic. It's like having a certain color hair. You just have it. I don't think there is anything different about me. I'm just a regular human being. Because of Tracy's incredible passion for theater and her advocacy work for people with autism, she has inspired countless people both on and off the stage.
Colin Richer is a young man successfully negotiating the difficult diagnosis of epilepsy. Because of how daily seizures affect his life, he could have surrendered to this disability, but he did not. In his senior year at Beacon Charter School, he decided to explore this experience in his capstone project, a short film produced by each graduating student. The idea came easily, but completing the necessary production work was difficult because the subject matter was so personal. Characteristically, he did not give up. He continued forward with the film and became motivated and driven to realize his vision. He wants people to know what it's like to have epilepsy as a young person whose future is alternated by the diagnosis. He spent hours editing the film, fine-tuning the details so that the impact to the viewer would not be diminished in any way. With high production standards, capable directing, skillful editing, and a clear vision, Colin created a beautiful, poetic film that artistically relates to the way epilepsy affects his daily life, his relationships with loved ones. It is a work that creates understanding and empathy in all those affected by this condition. Janelle Jean was exposed to the media arts at URI's first Star Academy in the summer of 2013. During that first year in the program, she created a video project with the team. She produced outstanding work and also showed that she's a great communicator, said Lisa in her nomination. She successfully operated a camera and was also able to organize her team's work in a productive, positive way. During the second summer, she created a website with videos that promoted awareness about living with her disability, cerebral palsy. Her website is professionally organized and contains useful observations, serious when necessary, but also humorous with honest stories and compelling information. These projects demonstrate Janelle's experience, talents, and passion. This young woman is making an important contribution, raising awareness about disabilities in her community. You can overcome any obstacle as long as you have determination. You can do anything you put your mind to, so go for it. Matt Bonner has worked for the past three summers for the Jamestown Youth, Litter and Conservation Team. This program involves educating the community about environmental concerns. This dovetails with his interest in creative photography. Matt has over 500 followers on his Instagram page. His supervisor, Bonnie Jameson, nominated him because of both his work ethic, keen sense of what needs to be done, and how it affects the whole team. I can count on Matt as a backup for projects of all kinds. I trust him with the team and have relied on him multiple times. Matt is a no boundaries person that communicates effectively beyond his learning disabilities to help notice and solve problems and needs of others. Making signage, working on brochures, and everything from crosswalks to ramps and pathways, Matt is involved in making Jamestown easier to navigate for everyone and making a positive change in the world. <laughs> 